This is a 2010 Toyota Sienna, and it's got a problem with the windshield washers. So here's what happens. You get it started, everything's working well over there, and on this side, hey, nothing's coming up. There is the windshield washer that's not working, and there's the windshield washer that is working. Let me go outside for a close-up. So here's the one that does work. And as you can see, it has a little nozzle in the middle that's distributing the spray. Let's move over to the other side of the car. Here's the one that's not working. And as you can see, the innards, the innards are gone. Blasted out onto the road at some point. So let's look under the hood. So if I open the hood, we got this hood liner. The uh, windshield washers are coming here. The hose, we can see coming along the edge here, so I have to get this down. And like a lot of things, it's attached with these little clips, which are not meant to come off. And uh, so I did a bit of Googling online, and uh, yeah, I'm located in Canada, and you can get the actual clips, but they're really expensive. So instead, I spent 20 bucks on Amazon, and I got an assortment of generic clips. And this should last me for uh, many years, hopefully. And also, again on Amazon, bought these replacement windshield nozzles, which look like they just pop right in to the hood. So it should be a simple matter of pulling down this liner and popping in the new ones. Now, yesterday I did actually try removing one of these clips, and I got it out without destroying it, and I got it back in, but it's, it's loose. So, yeah, I, I don't think these clips really are meant to come out and go back in. Oh, yeah, comes right apart now certain amount of heat under the hood too of course so there's going to be uh, after 10 years they're probably a little brittle wow. on the positive side I'm getting a lot of bird and wind sounds that I maybe I can use in other videos There we go. They certainly did get destroyed. I forgot one. There we go. Well, I didn't see that coming. It's hidden in here. And yeah, that's gonna be fun. First, let me disconnect this hose. And this is going to have to get fed back up somehow. And then I don't think I'm going to be able to catch that on film. Yeah, you know, the replacements have those little friction clips, so I need to pinch these clips to get it out. Let's see. Ooh, got it. So let me try to recreate this. Down here, there's a little access hole. I was able to feed a screwdriver up to pinch the front clip, and then I could tip it up. And then from above, again, I fed a screwdriver in to pinch the back clip to get it the rest of the way out. Pack comes with two. I only need one, and uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna fuss with the other one if I don't have to. Pop off the hose. Oh yeah, nice friction fit. Now I gotta feed it back through. It snaps into place. And then put the hose back on. And that should be it, but let's test it before I put the insulation back. All right, instead of dribbling out here, it's shooting nicely up there. Exactly what we needed.
So this kit, this kit had bazillions of fasteners and I sorted through and I used ones that looked like this. They were not entirely perfect, but they felt pretty good. But then, where are they going? Some of them were feeling just a little bit loose, so I ended up pulling those out and I used this other kind of fastener in the kit, which is a two-part plug. It's got the plug that goes in, and then it's got this little screw thing that you just shove in, which expands these little wings inside. Holds nice and snug. There we go. So this whole repair cost me about $34 Canadian. It was about $12 for the windshield washer, nozzle, and there's two of them, so I have a spare one, and it cost me about $20 for the pack of a bazillion auto, auto clip fastener thingies. And yeah, then I have to sort through to find one. Um, you can get the actual part number for the Toyota part, but yeah, it was, it was like a ridiculous amount of money, and it would take days and days to get it here in Canada. I don't know why. I'll put links to all of this down in the description if anyone's interested. And as always, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.